Hello, welcome back to Tuesday Night North American Garblight Games, where we are continuing our playthrough of Spectaculars, uh, specifically the Street Light Knights campaign, the street level heroes taking back the streets. I said streets too many times. Uh, thank you for joining us, everyone. <laughs> I appreciate you all being here. Uh, this is going to be part two of our two-parter that we started last week. So we're going to pick up kind of where we left off. Uh, but before we do that, we'll go ahead and do the roundtable introductions. Uh, Jeff, I will start with you. What do you have going on? Can you tell us about Meat Man? Uh, yeah, so twitch.tv slash the lollygaggers. I run a group called Adventures in Lollygagging. We play on Fridays, Saturdays, and Mondays. Uh, on Fridays, we're doing Delta Green, Impossible Landscapes. Saturdays, we've been doing Worlds Without Number. Uh, and this coming Monday, we are starting Chapter 3 of our Alien campaign. It's the, the Marine arc, so we're very excited for that. Oh, yeah, uh, I and that. <laughs> Matt is in that, and uh, undoubtedly that. Matt's character I, will die. I will die. It's a guarantee. I die in every one of Jeff's every, alien games. Only one, only one of your characters has has survived. Uh, that was my second I, character in that one, and I killed him off screen. So that's fine. Oh, so, I want to bring it back. Oh, did I not mention that? Sorry. I want to bring back my my asshole company agent one day. <laughs> you should. You should. Uh, so I am playing Meat Man, otherwise known as Carver Ryback, who is a uh, he has a he has a food truck. Uh, that he uh, by day he runs one and by night he is hunting down the court of dis the uh, at least the lower level members and uh, uh, horrifically murdering them and uh, selling them back to the higher ups of the quarter court of dis as like hot dogs and sandwiches and hamburgers and stuff uh, so yeah he also has a as an older sister we learned last time who is trying to uh, trying to find him he's a little crazy he's been carved up a bit <laughs> Uh, a in his past crazy. life, he wears a uh, he wears a canvas sack that's uh, stained with blood uh, over his head, and he uses cleavers and a big old meat truck to attack people. So, he's man. good. He's a good guy. He is. He's a good guy. <laughs> We're the good guys. <laughs> We're the good guys. Totally. Totally. I called. I called him a hero adjacent. That's what I think he is. So. That's it. You belong in the '90s, Meat Man. That's yes. that's your home. It's my favorite decade, so it'd be the keeps getting worse. The Lobo uh, type character. Yeah. I never understood Lobo. Um Pat, welcome back. Hello. What um, do you got going on? Also belongs in the nineties. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Alley Very different. Um, so I am the co runner of Diesel Shot, as everybody knows. And uh, this week we are putting on some shows. Thursday, we've got Uranium Fever, our ongoing and longest-running campaign, a Fallout game, uh, to tabletop role-playing game. And on, um, uh, I think, Friday, I'm doing a, uh, a, a sponsored game for another, or not sponsored, but like a promotional game. Um, I'll have more details on that later in the week. But um, on Saturday, we're doing a weird kind of... Um, and anniversary sort of game on our channel um just lee and me mothership it's gonna be weird it's gonna be fun and uh yeah so i i'm also on garblon games uh on friday uh morning for me or well afternoon uh on friday with world of darkness which just started very exciting and of course next tuesday you can find me back here on garblon games once more perhaps with another character in Ooh. But tonight I am playing Alley Cat, a, uh, a very Riot girl inspired uh, punk uh, anarchist um, superhero who uh, truly does believe in uh, helping her community and, uh, 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 you know, liberating it from the clutches of the uh, oppressive Court of Dis syndicate and also maybe the government. We're not sure exactly how far she goes. <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah, that's my Alicat. Also a bit of an anti-hero, but, uh, you know, she, she's, she, she believes in her cause. That's right. Very good. Uh, Aaron, welcome back. Thank you, thank you. Uh, I'm Aaron. Uh, this week, uh, Thursday, at this same time, we will be starting our Blades in the Dark here for Garblag Games North America. Then Sunday, I think we'll be back at Free League playing Aliens. Is yes. that yes. correct? Yes, after two-week hiatus, we're finally back. I can't wait for an all-out combat session. I'm calling it now. I think it's going to take the whole two hours. Oh, and I, I'm 
tune in because I think Hanzo may be killed, if not by Evan's character, then by somebody else. <laughs> Uh, and that's it for the week. I am playing this week. I am playing uh, Special Agent Dirk Hickok of the Department of Parahuman Affairs, uh, also known as Agent X, a uh, a government uh, a government agent through and through who channels the spectral powers of his long lost ancestor Wild Bill Hickok uh, into a pair of. Uh, ghostly six shooters and a phantom steed that uh, he uses to uh, write injustice and hunt down those who would oppose the law. Very cool. All right, Evan, welcome back. Thanks. Uh, yeah, same thing as Aaron. We'll be playing in those games, Blade in the Dark on Thursday, we'll be doing our kind of like intro session, finishing up characters and finishing up our crew, and then hopefully doing a little heist. Yeah. And then, yeah, Sunday Aliens, that's going to be interesting. I don't know who, if anyone, will come out alive, but all we can do is try. And I am playing uh, Nightlight, aka Chester Everton, the exchange student from London, who is the Truffle Lord, as well as the <laughs> Court of Dis Destroyer, even though he has so many nicknames now. Oh, wow. And Court he of is ready ready to uh, see what this part two has and who, who he needs to burn up today. <laughs> oh, boy. All right. Yeah. So uh, last week, the Court of Dis, or their, their underlings, the Hellhounds, were taking it to the streets of paradise. But um, the Covenant had no problem dispatching these underlings. Uh, so we're going to roll into part two of this do before we do so do we want to do our um i was going to call them flashbacks they're not flashbacks uh interludes. what what are those interludes thank you <laughs> our interludes i got blades in the dark in my mind <laughs> uh do we want to do our interludes before we start and if so who wants to go first i have a question about that are these interludes going to i'm assuming they're in the in like the the kind of i'm assuming they are a little bit like uh back flashbacks because uh are we kind of in the middle of a burning city you are kind of in the middle of a burning city we could do it after the issue as well because you are we it is a continuation it picks up basically where it left off that is a good question yes <laughs> you are in the middle of a bur well burning neighborhood paradise is on fire paradise is under <laughs> yes. attack uh, hold on i need to do a commercial real quick <laughs> just... <laughs> yeah let's do our interludes at the end then um of this one so let's, and let's jump into this so it ended with the the group of you saving someone on the bridge wasn't it yes. it was one of yes. alley cat's connections yes and uh my character had a, a big kind of um clash oh, then we went to the we went to another and then we went place. yeah and then we went to kill mm -hmm. a whole bunch of people really quickly oh yeah, yeah, the yeah they're hiding in the yeah. pawn shop okay pawn shop, right. we did in <laughs> ice buds that's right agent agent x sent her contact to uh witness protection <laughs> that's right yeah that's right okay yeah it ended in the pawn shop all out brawl there's like a crater left uh in the street where the pawn shop once was did the police arrive did your contact arrive there as well no you spoke to him earlier in the issue right he called you the detective yeah yeah, I don't think yeah. we ever ran into him. Wyatt yeah, Wilson. Wyatt Wilson did not show up yet at the pawn shop. Okay. All right. So it has been literally days of this. You've just been fighting nonstop. It seems like as soon as dusk hits, hell breaks out in the streets of paradise. And the four of you are doing everything you can to keep the court of dis at bay. You have gotten word that that the court of dis has stolen some fuel rods from a nuclear power plant and they're planning on selling them at the steelworks to um members of the war tour nation of jalveria uh and you know by doing this in exchange you've also heard that they were going to give them some cutting edge weapons the court of dis members to possibly take you on uh after such an embarrassing show over the last few nights so you've heard that the negotiations are supposedly happening tonight in the manager's office overlooking the factory, the steel, the steelworks factory. 
So how do you want to approach this situation? You know this is happening. You've heard the word. You you know you need to break it up so that these uh, these high tech weapons don't get in the hands of the court of this. I like to uh, to drive the meat truck directly into the steel factory in classic stealth fashion. I now, think that's a terrible idea. I think I think Meat Man will just be like, let's just go. I don't know why we don't need a plan. Let's just go. We can take anybody out. You see the kid? You see what he did? Come on. Yeah, I'm ready. I'll do it. I'm ready. I'll burn them all down. That's what I want to hear. Oh, clearly, you're not wrong. The kid is, uh, I swear to God, he's an entire Special Forces battalion rolled into one child. And I love that about him. I, I see a, a young government agent in the works there. But I think that's me, called child soldier. Well, that's that's see. that's between Meat Man and Nightlight. I, I've already raised my concerns about the child labor laws, but that's not that's not for this this simple agent to to bring to light. Uh, so I'm just saying that perhaps we need to make sure they're actually in the office before Nightlight blows it up. Make hmm. fine point, Copper. I'll be right. Thank back. you, ma'am. Keep keep telling yourselves. I'll be right back, sir. We should, uh, we should probably scope it out, and um, you might need a person on the inside. I'm subtle. Make sure that things... Uh, yeah, me and me, me, we can disguise ourselves. They'll never see us coming. Well, I, probably I, for reasons uh, related to you being the muscle of the team and the powerhouse, you know, the, the strongest, brains. The, the bravest, uh, we might need, and, and you know, the brains also, but like, you know, we don't want the brains on the inside. We probably want me or Agent Box. I, personally, I think with your uh, super agility, you may be the right person to prowl out the scenario and then let us know on comms when it's time to hit the place. Yeah, I might be okay. right. Sounds good. Thank you for <laughs> filling that. I, I know that was very difficult for you to say, ma'am, but and I, I do appreciate it. He tips his hat. <laughs> Please do not take off your hat. Press <laughs> All right, so the plan is Alley Cat's going to go in there and scope it out first. Yeah. yeah. Or are you driving the the truck? <laughs> no, no, no. She's is it like? Is this during day of time or? No, nighttime? it's night. It's night. They're not going to okay. do that in the. In the uh... well, I figured I was just making sure that we didn't have to have a late night food truck, you know, rodeo that we were, you know, there but not there. No, 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 no. All right, so Alley Cat, you want to go in there? Yeah, I think this is uh, this is my time to uh, sneak around yeah. the interior. Uh, okay. Maybe, you know what? Um, so we start off with, uh, uh, so there's, I, I believe I have one remaining continuity point. Um, hmm. Do I want to use that to establish that I have some connections? Or, you know what, actually, no, I, I want to I wanna maybe, um, I want to see if I can't steal like a wait, waiter's um, uh, garb or something like this is presumably a I don't know if it's a catered event necessarily but there's definitely catering inside this building right or something like that so, Not as far as you know. so this is an actual like steel mill like a steel okay. working yeah, yeah, yeah. mill sorry, then so garb. this is a uh, it's, it's a factory yeah <laughs> I'm sorry I, I I totally forgot where I I got so uh so up in the uh, idea of a heist that I'm like ah oh, yeah we all have blades in the event. dark on our minds <laughs> Yeah, we all have leads on the dark. <laughs> Heist. No, 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 no. Flashbacks. So she, she gets, yeah, so, so, so she's going to, like, uh, sneak into, like, the locker room, probably, and, like, grab uh, a, uh, a jumpsuit or something. Okay. If she can. I, when are you going to see? And I'll say you're, you're up on, like, an adjacent building. You can see some hellhounds. You know, they're wear, they've got their nice suits. They've got right. their demonic masks on. They, they have uh, automatic weapons, and they're, they're patrolling around outside the building. You see that there's windows uh, that you can look into this factory. What you see from the outside, really, is you see, like big heavy duty chain pulleys. Uh, you see stacks of steel beams over on one end. There's big troughs of molting metal bubbling. Clouds of steam coming from uh, cool water uh, off of hot metal. There's cranes and dangling hooks. All sorts of Are things. Are they actively working here? So nobody's working right now because it is after hours. 
Um, but there are you do you do right away see some hellhounds outside. Well, you know what? Do any of them look particularly uh, mm, dumber than the others? <laughs> they are wearing masks, or so it's hard to slower. tell. Yeah, like like physically slower, like maybe dawdling behind. <laughs> Some of them I might be able to grab, yank into the dark, and steal well, their clothes. Why don't you? Why don't you go ahead and use? You're going to use your um, enhanced agility, right? Yes, I think this is a perfect time for my enhanced agility. Yeah. So why don't you go ahead and make me a roll uh, of how yes. you want to? You, you're. We'll say like you're watching a group of two, and they're going around the building, and they're they're doing a patrol. Maybe one of them stops. He's got a. He's got to relieve himself, and the other one kind of goes around the corner, and that mm -hmm. gives you the opportunity to jump down there and uh, stop them or grab them. Perfect. Okay, yeah, so I'm... Sorry, let me... My computer's being a little slow. All right, yeah, so I'm, I'm just kind of sneaking around in the back, and then when I see this guy uh, relieving himself, that's when I uh, <laughs> leap into action. All right. Rolling a Roll 1D100. Yes, please. Yeah. There we are. 81. Ooh, you, you, would you like to spend some hero points? 80% or lower is what you need to succeed. So yeah, yeah, that's fucking, that's a bum luck. Yeah. I'm going to start on a, a hero point right now. That. Okay. That's not a good start to the night. All right. So you leap down. No, it is <laughs> He's relieving himself. And how do you, how do you dispatch of this, this hellhound? Um, so my character does not kill. It's one of her codes. Uh, so, uh, um, she, honestly, she brings him back and uh um head bumps him you know she has okay. him like here and then so boom. with your hands jill you just kind of like like through the shadows skulk down grab them and just kind of like you choke them out or uh um, oh yeah 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 okay you put a sleeper that. hold on them and he just kind of goes sleeper limp hold. in your arms there we go yeah. she's, she's pretty uh familiar with this technique um and uh yeah a million she dollar dream tries on his Tries on his suit. <laughs> tries on the suit. All right, you put on the suit. Um, it's a little baggy, uh, but you you have a, a real nice designer court of dis suit. Uh, you right, also have cool. an inverted rosary. You have one of these demonic masks. You have a automatic weapon. Mm -hmm. I use a few uh, uh, of my uh, very very useful safety pins that I have on my clothes, and I. Use them to clip it up. It's not going to look pretty, and uh, if anybody gives it more than a cursory glance, it obviously won't hold up. <laughs> but maybe does a little bit about the obvious bag situation. And okay. uh, yeah, she she tries to blend in, or actually no, she doesn't go back to that other group. She kind of sneaks around, and right. now she's in in disguise. Okay, you come back. Are you go, you're not going to go back around the corner to where the other one was. You're going to avoid them. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to avoid that group. Okay. So you're just going solo. You're going the other direction. Yeah. Well, this uh, way nobody will necessarily, uh, uh, yeah, think that I'm uh, an invader. So y you kind of go the other direction. You hear a voice coming from the direction of the other guy that kind of is waiting for. Him. He's like, "Sam, what's taking you so long? How how, how much th did you drink? What the hell?" Ooh. Okay, maybe I should go with that. <laughs> it's up to you. But he's calling. Yeah, I think I'm. I'm gonna try my luck. I'm going to go with them. Oh, okay. All so right. you walk around the corner. It's just one other guy. You walk around the corner. He goes, what the hell did you drink? What's what? How much piss you got in you? Uh, I don't feel that good. Uh, had something real bad last night. Do you have... Well, so you're a social worker, <laughs> right? Yes. What skills do you have in social worker that we could use here? Uh, I, you know what? I never actually got the physical readout of the card so i've okay. actually been basing it off of you if you could let, take a picture of that and send yeah. that to me honestly that what would i'll be... do is i can post it in the discord but let me look for here what are we under street i have lights. i have i have the team like i have my street sentinel stuff but the one thing that i've never really had is is that that's kind of been throwing me off this whole time okay sorry so, no it's all good it's all good here i'll drop in the Discord for you but in the meantime you have 90 percent the size someone up 80% to read the situation, 80% watch for trouble, 65 surveil someone, 65 treat an injury, 50% in everything else. Yeah, so lying does not seem to be in my yeah. wheelhouse. So it might be a 50% everything else uh, sort of thing. I'm assuming luck doesn't help me either. 
Well, luck, luck is a very specific. Once you roll, though, luck, can't you change yeah, luck. it? Yeah. I think you can do the twenty up, twenty down once the roll's done. Let's see if this will make any difference. Ooh, okay. twenty down won't make a difference. That's no. just a shit roll. Okay, I just dropped the social worker card also for you in the Discord. Thank you. I really appreciate that. No, problem. I will. Uh, looking out at the. You know, at them, I'm like, oh, look, they're both together. Maybe I should go burn them up. So, <laughs> <laughs> so you're, and he's like, uh, what's wrong with you, Sam? What the hell? That, and he like raises his weapon at you. What the hell's going on here? You're not Sam. Who are you? Um, how many are there? There's one. It's just you and another. Oh, God. All right. I knock him out. I don't... Use my superhuman agility. <laughs> Yeah, Not so you're lun lunge at him. Okay, go go for it. Go ahead and make yeah, me a roll. Right. And you're just going to lunge at him. Yeah, well, I, I say, uh, who am I? Who am I? Your worst nightmare. And uh, then I, oh, I go six to seven. So you just like, what? You just <laughs> lunge on top of him? Like pounce on him like a cat? Or what does that look like? Uh, I think I, I go for the uh, subtle under under uh, swing with my, uh, with my leg swoop him down bring him down hard onto the pavement uh i, I look him in the eye and then uh then i, I keep him in the, the sleeper pose and i move the two of them uh over into a corner or something love it the million dollar dream all right so you've dispatched the two guards that you've seen on the outside the others what do we let's jump over to ancient x meet man and nightlight what are the three of you want to do are you watching or surveying this from a distance yeah. Uh, I feel like I would get itchy fingers waiting too long. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so unless Meat Man's like driving no. the truck, which I imagine he would probably run into the building in some way. If not, yes. I would just fly into the building. I'll, I think Meat Man after like a good 90 seconds, seconds yeah. would be like, I think they got her. We got to go in and help her. Yeah, she's in trouble. Let's go. Oh, Agent X would look up and go, damn it. <laughs> And you'd see a spectral horse summon underneath him as he charges after Meat Man and Night Guy going, this was not the plan, gentlemen. <laughs> Yikes. Really? Okay. So the so the three of you are just charging the building while Alley Cat's dispatching the two outside? Well, I'm following Meat Man and Nightlight because I have a feeling they're not going to stop until they are Can dri I drove in the truck through the wall. <laughs> okay, since, since Meat Man is turning over a new tactical leaf, can I use a con uh, continuity token? Sure. Here what do you want to do a to suggest, or a I want to suggest that I have a contact at the Steelworks whom I get my because I have steel chains and stuff and big old blades that come out of my that come out of my truck. I would like to use a con I would like to con suggest that there is somebody at the Steelworks who hooks me up perhaps and so maybe i have a uh, relatively intimate knowledge of the factory in some way okay i'm just I'm making sound? a note on your truths uh yeah yeah no I, I like it i'm making a note on your truths that you have a connection there that's who supply supplies you with uh your chains and hooks mm -hmm. and such and industrial blades and such. <laughs> <Industrial blades. laughs> my combat vehicle is pretty fun <laughs> Wow. It's not safe for kids. I don't know why. It's in yeah, why do you have a kid on here all the time? <laughs> Highly Thanks. armed recreational vehicle. All so right. with yeah. that in mind, yeah. I would say that I would probably say to both to both Agent X and to, to Nightlight, like, there's another way in here, you know. And uh, I would like to maybe use the knowledge that I gained to like kind of sneak in like a way that maybe isn't guarded or or where I meet my my con Ooh. something like that just something that gets us in sure a, a lesser lesser known entry point. Okay. Yeah. 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 You, you're where you would normally meet your contact. It's kind of off to the shadows. There's a little there's a little docking bay that's not really used anymore. Uh, and you've uh, you've got a key to the lock on the the train that pulls that that door up and down. So you're able to uh, you're able to get into the the building uh, with relative uh, stealth. Okay. And as uh, as Agent Hickok walks up, the, the ghostly manifestation of his gunslinger ancestor coalesces about him, and he's like, "All right, let's take these bastards out." Wee! 
they start flying in. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Alley Cat, I'm going to say, like, you dispatch these two, and then you see the three of them going around the corner without you. <laughs> Over the cons, I'm going. I go, Alley yeah, Cat, we're, we're moving in. <laughs> tactically. Tell her we're doing it tactically. Uh, I say, oh my god, this was not the plan. Nightlight, Nightlight really wanted to go inside. And, I text her emoji Literally, I could not stop him. <laughs> I just send her the fire emoji to Alley Cat. Some government overseer you are. Can't herd cats? Ugh. Fine. I'm going to take up the rear full flanking maneuver. See you on the inside. I'm wearing one of their outfits now, so I might look different. We probably won't shoot you. <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> Probably won't shoot you. Yeah. I mean, I don't use guns, so. It's a good point. Uh, you, we yeah, probably won't either. stab you either. Or, <laughs> well, based on Nightlight's prior uh, prior strikes, I can't guarantee you that he would. Maybe we should have like you. a, like a call to response myself. thing or something. Yeah, like a code word, because everything kind of gets blurry when I use my fire, you know? I don't really... Pineapple. That's my safe word. Wait. Yeah. Pineapple. Pineapple. All right, so I'm, you all group up. Or are you going in your own way, Alley Cat? I'm going in the back. Okay, so you're going in the back, and uh, Meat Man and, and the gang are going in through his his side entrance that he has access to, where he meets his his contact to get his blades and chains and hooks. Industrial strength. I, I don't know what the parentheses or the, uh, the <laughs> I don't know either. The mark was there for. They're, lit- they're literally chains and blades. And yeah, oxygen. that's true. That's true. I should use it when I'm talking about his meat. That's what there it's. You go, yeah. <laughs> Grade A American beef. All right. So uh, the scene is much the same. When you enter, it's dark. The the, the factory is not currently uh, in operation. But again, there's chains and pulleys, stacks of beams everywhere, molten. Uh, troughs of metal vats of metal if you will um and you do see the 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 overhanging office it's windows all around it's like where the boss sits up there and he looks down at the workers to make sure everybody's on task down in the factory and he'll call down you know to to the shift supervisors and go yell at whoever if they're not working enough Uh, and you can see the, the lights are on in the office and there appear to be six uh by the way they're dressed hellhounds the fancy suits uh standing around they've got their backs to you and it looks like they're talking to a group of another six individuals uh and they've got there it looks like they're all around a table from what you can tell like you're looking down and up at the scene there are catwalks um that you could take up there to get to the second level where this 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 office is um and it's really the the only lights that are on in this place right now as well so it's illuminating somewhat the factory itself now, we really do need to go in and give them the opportunity to surrender in accordance with the law. Uh-huh. So how about y'all give me just one minute? I'll go up there, and as soon as they start shooting at me, well, you know what to do. Because we all know they're not going to surrender. One minute, right, me, man? Yep. One minute, indeed. Just wait till they start shooting at me and then come running. <laughs> he just like turns around and we're already gone. Yeah, <laughs> as he turns around, <laughs> he's walking away like he said, he said to shoot before they started shooting at him, right? There's so uh, many instructions. I don't know. I stopped listening. I can't really hear inside he's of just... a canvas sack mask. It's just, it's very thick and heavy. He's just so old. I just get so bored. <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, boy. So we're underneath them. You're underneath them. You're down in the factory itself, and it's the the like the literally underneath office the office. Ahead. Yeah. Um. No, you're at the opposite end of the factory. Okay. Okay. You could but go. We can the see office. them. It's uh, like it's like sixty feet up. Like it's like this is a factory. It's massive, massive uh, ceilings. This thing's way, way, way up there, um, off the floor. Does so, the office have like uh, like struts or anything underneath it, like visible support struts? No same wavelength okay no it does not right. agent does once again looks back he's like one minute <laughs> and he starts walking to walk up all to right a Sally Cat, catwalk you're on the you're on the other side of the building from them you're like you're you're still furthest yeah. away from the office but you're like on the other side you can like look over and wave at them and you see agent x just starting to stride up by himself and i don't know 
Meat Man and Nightlight are, are kind of behind him. I don't know if they're following or not. Oh goodness! I want right. to get I want to get underneath the office. That's where I'm going. Okay. Like uh, like on the first floor where we are, just going underneath, like where it, sure. they would be. So I want to use my superhuman agility to get on this, like you know, to get get kind of on the same level as the uh, office. Sure. Maybe I want to I want to pop up onto that skywalk you talked. About. Okay. That that connects to the office, right? It does. There there are catwalks. Ooh. There are stairs. Go switch backing up and down all over this catwalks, multiple levels of catwalks all over this factory. So you could just, you don't even need yeah. to use agility. I'll say you just start. Well, you know what they say this cat will walk. On oh, a catwalk. snap. And uh, <laughs> I'm going to, I'm going to like uh, try to casually approach the office. Sure. Uh, actually, I'm going to see if I can't mingle with the other guards if you like. So. The other or, guards, they all seem to be in there. Like, all the, the other members of the oh. this are in there, along with these oh. supposed these terrorists from Jalveria uh, that they're, Jalveria. they're meeting with. Horrible so, place. I'm going to say Agent X is str striding up one uh, end of the building on the catwalks, and you're on the opposite, and, like, the two of you are, like, parallel, just striding towards the office. Uh, does, that, does that sound about right? Yeah, that sounds about Agent, right. <laughs> Agent X looks over and gives her that little half-government salute. He's like, we're going to give him an opportunity to surrender. Uh, yes, ma'am. I, I understand. I understand your feelings on on the government, uh, but we'll give him a, we'll give him two chances to surrender. That's a very good option. I, I do like that. <laughs> so, Matt, are there? Uh, I mean, this is a steelworks, right? Yes. Are there like chains hanging from the ceiling and the rafters at some point? Can we say that there's oh, a yeah. chain? Oh no, there's there's heavy okay. duty chain pulleys. There's chains and pulleys all over the place. <laughs> so I would like while they're doing their salute to one another across either side of the catwalk, I yes. want me man to be just be suddenly swinging between them <laughs> <laughs> on the chain, <laughs> exploding into the office. <laughs> I like. Oh, like, oh on cue! I'll be ready. Don't worry. <laughs> Just give it, I'll give Agent X a salute as I'm going. Are you yes. doing the Tarzan uh, as you call as you go? The words. It's, yeah, something like that. Yeah. Like, I'll just count like 60 as if I've been counting to a minute the whole time. Under his breath, you hear Agent X say, Stern, Stern, you owe me, you son of a bitch. <laughs> for saddling me with these psychopaths. Oh, <laughs> All right, so... Agent X, you walk into the room. <laughs> Alley Cat, you walk in at the same time on opposite ends. We're going to say there's two doors, on for one on either side of the catwalk. So you both get to the office doors, open them at the same time. As you open them, psh, the glass smashes and Meat Man flies in. Uh, but nobody turns around. As soon as you get in there, you see everybody's tied up, bound and gagged in place. Oh, shit. Well, I got to say, I was not exactly expecting that. Somebody's done our jobs for us. And out from the back of the office walks this this figure, all in black. Um, their costume is, is form-fitting. It's all black, but it's also, it almost looks like, um, you know, like uh, oil or gas in, in a puddle. Like it has a, that kind of effect kind of shimmering all over it. And they got a black skull mask over their face. And they've got swords in their back. It looks like they got guns around their wrists. They've got guns at their sides. And uh, he just kind of steps out of the shadows. He goes, this is too easy. You're pathetic. And uh, oh, let's, yeah. get the, let's get in some combat. This is... <laughs> All right. We met this Joker. Oh, Good well, thing well. I didn't do what I was planning on doing. That would have been bad. They're killing everybody? I <laughs> say, like, hey, you Blow yeah. it up. Go right ahead still. I think Meat Man would still be on board with it. <laughs> These are hostages. Back to a long time no see. These are hostages. Not uh, like we probably shouldn't uh, massacre the hostages just just quite yet, especially while the villain goes twice in a row. Before you're breaking up. I can't hear you. <laughs> the agents of dis hostages. Uh, no, you you got a close look. These are these are civilians. These aren't. Oh shit. These aren't court of dis. It's like a trap. Yeah. And well, you swung hell? right into it. Jeez. It's the best way to, best way to, to get out of a trap is to get into it first. <laughs> you know I what? It's the only that, way. That makes sense. Right? 
Sorry, yeah. this, this is a big initiative track. I'm setting it up. <laughs> it's going to take me a while. Uh, <laughs> there's a lot going on here. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow, this villain's oh, getting Oh, all I know is we're at you. the end, yeah. Hazards, Jeez, villains, are we even in this complications. Deck? Oh, there's our leader. I'll go, I'll go <laughs> through it. Everybody at home, I'll go through it once it's done. It's set up. I apologize. There's a lock. Of, wow, the heroes are at the end of this thing. So everybody I'm gets their, last. their 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 points. Remember that as we go into a combat. Uh, what I just roll striker <clears throat> and artillery. You are dead last. All right. So let's give the rundown here for our viewers at home because they can't see what we see. So we've got our villain going first. We've got our support going next. We've got the villain going two more times after that. Then we have minions in here. Then we have a complication. Then again, the villain gets to go. Then our hazard pops up again. Oh, we're supposed to have two hazards. We do. There's a second one right after. Oh, and then, then it's the leader's turn. Then it's the hazard again. Then it is our striker, and then it is our artillery. So for those at home before the session, Nightlights are artillery, Alley Cats are support, Agent X is leader, and Meat Man is striker. We set that up before the session. All right. So I know you have hero points. I know there's people who can manipulate the track. So I'll let you do your thing. Not enough to do anything this time. I, I think I'll, I'm going to wait till the next uh, next turn's initiative because yeah, this is rough. I'd spend all my hero points and we wouldn't get anywhere. What's the complication? Is it the, the hostages? The complication is the hostages in this room. They're at danger as the as this like breaks out. You don't know what the hazards are yet. Yeah, I'm not going to do any initiative manipulation this turn. It's just not just not worth it. I'm, I'm enough still hero points to do anything. To 60. Still going. <laughs> so All right. So you can you can drop that down to, to two at this juncture. <laughs> drop. Uh, so we're not. Nobody's changing anything. Uh, it's too hard to. It's... Okay. All right, all right. Hold on for just one second. I will put two time tokens on my hypercognition and swap initiative cards with Alley Cat. Done. So leader is being bumped up to where support is? Yep. Perfect. Okay. So villain axe and then the leader. Seeing the lay of the land, I try to move fast, but not as fast as this black clad bastard. Yeah. So he steps out of the shadows and all of a sudden he charges at you. You're going to, because you're up first, I'm going to, he's going to go for you as the closest target. Mm -hmm. He charges at you. All of a sudden it looks like his legs almost change or manipulate into that of like uh, a cat or something and he runs at you with incredible speed and barrels into you uh, so let's see what happens with that he hits you <sighs> slams into you for 48 damage it kind of knocks you back and he's standing on top of you now Ow. and it is your turn is there uh so how are the hostages arrayed in here so there's a table in the middle of the room the court the ones who are dressed like court of discs have their backs to the window that meat man smashed in there's four what did i say four or six uh standing at the table their their hands are tied uh to their legs or to their feet it's like and there's they're they're all upright and they have gags in them and then there's four or six of the i can't remember what number i said of the the jalvarian uh terrorists on the other end AK, or their civilians dressed like them so they're on either end of the table, these these civilians. Okay, so Agent X is going to go, well, I, I got to say that, that hurt like a son of a bitch. And then he's going to turn to the table and push it over on its side and, and try to sh basically shove the hostages towards the door he came in, or at oh, least yeah. some of them. Okay. To push them, to, to give them a shield and push them out of the office. So you're going towards the complication. Yes. I will give you two um, advantage dice for that. All right. Let's see. What are we rolling for this? Not really my signature weapon. Uh, 
I guess it would be anything else. I can't really see it. Not read the situation. No. Yeah. All right. Oh, you got two boons, though. Uh, at 93. So you can use those. To take it down to a 73. 73. 73. And I guess I could use two hero points. That'd be three, right? I'd have to get to below 50. Yeah, I'd have to use three. Yeah, no. Nah. Can't, can't, can't get there. All right. So you try to leap, and it, he just kind of like stamps his foot down on you in place, and you, you're unable to get up. Uh, with that, uh, it's his turn again. And all of a sudden, his arms grow massive, almost like like gorilla arms. And he's just going to start pounding on you with two of his arms. Of course both he is. Of them. Um, Jeez. I'm going to use... A, he, so I get special perks. One of the perks I chose was Tricks the Trade. It gives him four advantage dice on his next attack roll. Holy moly. It's going to hurt. All right. So we... Oh, 94. So I'm going to use that to reduce it. 84, which is just so... Oh, wow. So he does 74 points of damage to you, just pounding on you with both of these ape arms. Just There's blood splattered all over the walls, all over the floor. And then he looks over at Meat Man, who's the next closest target. Are you splatted? Oh, I'm done. He's I'm done. Out. He's out. Fuck. Oh, my God. Really? Meat, Meat oh, Man... Yeah. He then... Way more than out. <laughs> his hands turn to giant bear claws, and he lunges over at you to uh, to try and rip you to shreds. Wouldn't be the first time that I was ripped to shreds. <laughs> that should mess, right? Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use my... I have a multiple uses on this thing. Oh, Jesus. Of course uh, he does. I'm going to use this again. All right, so that takes down to 79. That does not hit. That's that's not low enough to hurt the meat man. <laughs> I was going to say, this guy, he might be a kaiju. <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly. We're all thumbs, bear face. At the, the, back, <laughs> the back of the room, out of the darkness where bear, man bear pig came out of, uh, all of a sudden a group of six Court of Dis members burst into the room, and they're going to open fire. Uh, they're going to shoot at Alley Cat. Wow. Very original. And they Ooh. miss with a 94. <laughs> Even uh, less original. Uh, but with that, it's over to the complications. The complication, they miss, but they also take out a couple of the civilians uh, while they're shooting towards you. So a couple of civilians drop. And we're going to, that's going to progress the complication negatively right now. Uh, back to our villain who's still on top of Meat Man. He is going to his 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 face is going to turn almost feline like, uh, almost like a lion, and he's going to open his head his mouth up and put your head inside of it and try to close his mouth on your head. Oh, it's like anti Grendel for three points of damage. <laughs> hmm. That's pretty. So funny. he brings it down around your burlap sack and just kind of starts gnawing on you. <laughs> Like well, a little kitten. Three points None of damage. <laughs> yeah. With that, he seems frustrated. And you see him reach down, and he pulls out, like, a little control device, and he hits a button. And as he does so, uh, all of a sudden... Hmm. Hmm. Um, who's left in this room? You're not in the room yet. Are you, uh... I was still Nightly. dead underneath it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, an electrified stun net drops out of the ceiling on Alley Cat. Oh, shit. Is there any way I can dodge this? Only if I don't make my roll. <laughs> <laughs> you dodged it. This guy's prepared. This guy's, this guy's ace. Yeah, no kidding. If only I'd gone in here before and scoped it out. So this electrified net, all of a sudden the, he hits his button, the roof opens up, an electrified net falls on you, starts like shocking you. You take 45 oh, yeah. points of damage from this thing oh, before God. you're able to throw all it right. off. Over to you, Alley right. Cat. Turns to me. Oh, wait. Is, sorry, wait. What, what does he do when he turns to me? It's No, it's your turn. 
It, oh, <laughs> it turns to you. Okay. you. It is you are now up. <laughs> what do you want to do? I misunderstood. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. So um, I, I, uh, uh, so I have a mechanical question. Um, yes. So uh, Agent X is down for the count. Is he at all conscious? Would he be considered able to see or hear me? Um, can they? Jeff, you've died in this game. Can you? When you're yes, I have. Can you see uh, or hear people? That's a good question. Going down to zero resistance is like you can kind of abstract it however you want. Is what the book says. Like you could say, like you go unconscious. You could say you like you just run away from the fight, or you get trapped underneath something heavy. Like whatever it is, however you want to rule that. I don't. Based think. off pretty of the much situation, out. when yeah. he was when he was just basically beat on by a gorilla, I'm gonna say he's knocked out. Okay. Um, so then my ability as a support to give him resistance would not count. Awesome. That's what I was checking. Um, uh, and there's presumably no way to get uh, a fallen uh, character back in the fight, or can I run over to him heroically and knock some sense into him, like treating an injury as part of my, uh, as part of my job? Um, Potentially. Yes. Um, <laughs> Oh, okay. Sorry, I'm going back and looking to see if how how badly I hurt Aaron with that roll because I'm just looking oh, at hero death. You hit me pretty hard. It was like a seventy four to forty five or something. Okay, nothing happens. It, it, if you if I rolled three, you would have died. If I rolled three boons, oh, I only rolled yeah. two. All right, you're not dead because <laughs> right, we we decided cool. it happens every now and then right. in our if in we our were setting. if yeah. we were. If we yes. were, if we went to hardcore one, where like they die all the time, I, I, he would be dead. Aaron yeah. would be dead. Okay, uh, Aaron's unconscious. You want to try and, and get Agent X back up, eh? Yes, I want to try and get him back up. Yeah, I'm gonna, so um, hypothetically, so, uh, be using my. Sorry, I'll let you speak. I was gonna say, yeah, we'd be using a skill for this. You'd have to use some sort of skill to heal him. Definitely, and fortuitously, I am a social worker, and as part of my social work. Uh, occupation, I have heal injury. Uh, treat injury at 65%. Treat injury, yeah. So I'm going to do uh, go ahead and give it a shot. And All right. um, 1v100. Let's see. All right. Oh, goodness. That's actually a decent roll for once. That is good. Low is good when it comes to this stuff, not when you're wanting to roll damage. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm going to say um, you're back, Agent X, with 10 hit points total uh but you're conscious you wake up and alley cat's uh over you and has and has brought you back from unconsciousness and then i would like to spend two hero points uh getting him up to 60 hp is that that's that's how that works right with the support ability uh i believe so uh yep Okay, cool. Sorry okay. for asking random questions about the rules. No, no, that's fine. <laughs> we haven't really used it too often, so it's a good question. It's a yeah, it's a legitimate question. I yeah, and I and I'm looking down at him and I say, "Okay, I might not like your politics, and I sure as fuck don't like the people you work for, and I really, really resent what you did just two days ago." But get your head back in the fucking game. This is war. We need you, soldier. Yes. Yep. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> slap him back up that's my turn <laughs> very good all right back to the hazard so you threw that electrical net off um meat man you're still tangling with the with uh this this villain therian uh and he uh he's got that device in his hand again and he hits another button and as he does so um some 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 cables all of a sudden you hear and these three grenades fall off out of the out of the roof out of the drop ceiling onto alley cat and agent x oh my is this gonna hit bad our civilians hostages possibly i like this guy's style he doesn't care that's a hit Jeez. for 30 uh, so the max damage these hazards can do is 30 so you both take 30 points of damage as these grenades yeah. just drop <laughs> and blow up around you. I don't think I like this guy very much. Somebody please kill him. Where's Night Light? <laughs> <laughs> All right. 53, 54. Over to our striker. Okay. He's on top of you. You're in the middle of the room. 
You got glass underneath you. You're kind of bloodied. He's gnawing there's on your a, head. <laughs> and there's a bunch of like minions around too, right? There are minions at the back of the room. So they're on the other side of the table. We've got the table in the okay. middle of the room with the hostages. They're on the other side of the table with guns shooting and yelling into the room. Okay. So would they then... Okay, so then would they then be close enough to... I have an area attack ability. Would they be yes. would they be close enough for it to be affected by an area attack? They're minions. Um sure. Yeah. No, I meant like if I if I could I get all of them in an area attack, like the the main guy and the minions. Oh no. No, not okay. you'd also get all the civilians. Well, I know that you don't really care about that. You get all the civilians also and you You don't want to give me that choice. <laughs> uh and you though would be caught in it as well. Uh I don't think it would make sense if I was caught in it because I'm throwing yeah. a bunch of knives. Oh, so okay. Then no, you couldn't get the you myself. couldn't get the, the 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 arch villain, the enemy that's on top of you in it. But you could get um, the minions, and you could hit some civilians if you wanted to. Okay. Um. All right. I won't do an area attack then. I will. Uh... Okay. Instead, um, he's been hitting buttons on little on little things. Yeah, he's and got I'll a little device in his hand. And I'll I'll just like reach into my reach in like behind like my butcher apron and pull out a little metal device of my own, and I'll hit a button and you guys will just hear an explosion by the front of the the steelworks, as the meat truck just comes crashing in. As I'm going <laughs> to use my combat vehicle ability to shoot some uh, some harpoons up into uh, up into the office uh, as my combat vehicle attack. Okay. All right. Go ahead and roll it. I'll give you um I'll give you uh two two advantage dice for that. Well, thank you. Uh that is a hit with 51. Do you want to make that a 61? Uh or what do you I am do going to pass those forward uh to Nightlight with the hope that uh the, the that he might be able to get it on his turn and might be able to take the oh. spotlight. Uh but I will go ahead and make this an obstructing attack in a quick power. So uh, when the uh, so basically what's going to happen is they get um, so it deals damage and adds two challenge dice to the target's next roll. So the main guy uh, he'll yep. have two talent challenge dice, yep. and then I'm going to be able to go again at the end of this round. So after Nightlight goes, Meat Man will get another go. Cool. All right, Nightlight, over to you. Uh, okay, Nightlight hasn't really got a lot of detail of what's happening, so he will. Uh, kind of like I, I imagine him hovering like up to where the window overlooks this whole area mm -hmm. and he will kind of like really briefly look at everything and then he'll raise his uh, hand his right hand that does fire and you see the lava behind him start to bubble and boil as like a bunch of lava arrows start to uh, be created and he is just going to blow up everything in the room. Jesus fucking Christ. You're blowing so up everything? Do, like, everybody? I'm doing the AOA thing, yeah. Like, even, even your I friends? Will, I will Mr. try Manhattan. my best to not hit my friends, but I would rather hit civilians. <laughs> so if you want to get if you want to get the minions and you want to get the villain in it, the, the civilians are, are in it, uh, Meat Man's in it. Yeah. So just but that, Agent X yeah. and Alley Cat will say you've, you've moved your little cone or whatever <laughs> template so they're not on, they're at the edge of it. So this will hurt Meat Man and the civilians. Yeah. And yeah. the main guy. And yes, the villain. And the main guy. Okay. Yeah, and his, his eyes kind of turn black, and you see the demonic shadow over him again. I'm Nightlight! <laughs> um, <laughs> all right. Oh, oh rare. Four. I'll take it. Uh, what, did you use a power? Oh, yeah, I'm using fire. Fire? How many time tokens do so... you have? So... Don't do I, more get, than I have three and damage. two. Um, so I'm going to make it uh, an area attack, obviously, which hits everybody, and then a powerful attack, which I'm going to do. Um, so I automatically get one hit right for the just the two damage right for the minion. Like one minion yes. dies. Yeah, yeah, one minion will go down from the group of six. Yep. Yeah. I'm going to do the two extra minions. So I'll do two extra minions on that one. Okay, so there's three left. And then I got to look at my other thingy. Then I'm going to spin. Well, go ahead. Was, so I'm just trying to understand the room. I thought the minions weren't near me. No, but he wants to hit them. He's doing an AOE. Okay. 
So he wants to get the minions and the villain in it, right? Is that correct, Nightlight? Yes. Yeah, well, that, okay. I was just wondering, because that's that's what I was asking on my turn as well. I was trying to do the same thing. But I said I was going to hit civilians, too. He wants so to hit everybody. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, it's fine. It's not good. And then I'm going to spend um, two extra points to uh, do two, four additional minion damage. So kill off the minions. Okay, the minions are out of the mix. And I'll kind of just try and yeah, use the rest of my movement to like dive in and try and uh, be there to like with my, uh, Meat Man and just try and hey, fight me too, um, animal face. <laughs> so how many time tokens did you get for that? How many? Uh, I used five total. Okay, so you can't. It's got to five turns before you can use that again. No, it's two. It's a, a two power and a three power. They're separate. Okay, which one's the AOE? three he's gonna go he's gonna look at you and go uh, 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 and he's gonna take a vial and throw it at you and it does so it kind of like mucks up your hands it goes all over your hands and go ahead and put two extra time tokens on that attack okay <laughs> well i killed all your minions so uh, thanks i guess uh and meat man gets to go again right so did i take any damage from the aoe Evan? three damage took, yeah whatever i rolled three okay. four four damage sorry four damage <laughs> Just at least you did more damage than this piece of crap over here. As I point to the bare-handed gorilla guy, <laughs> there he is. And I'll turn to him at this point, and I'll just like pull out <laughs> cleavers, double-fisted, and I'm just gonna go to town on him. As I'm just gonna stab, 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 and then as the knives are like staying inside of him, I'm gonna reach in, grab a couple more, a couple more knives, just continue to just sort of jab knives into him all over uh, with my arsenal ability. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that's the hit, and I will burn. Seven, four. Uh, I'll oh, do a hundred. I'll, I'll give you some challenge dice or some advantage dice for that. Okay. Oh yeah, there you go. Two more. I, okay, so I'm gonna do 154 damage to him. Okay. Sounds um, good. Yeah, 154 between my striker ability and the extra damage from. So there's cuts in his suit you can see blood trickling down but he seems like standing there and he's still in the fight like he doesn't even seem like he's he's hurt much round two artillery oh my god redemption redemption artillery's up first followed by our leader hey there uh, we go now it's our time to shine followed by support nice the heroes get to go. Hell yeah. Complication. Uh, complication doesn't matter anymore because you've killed all the civilians. Uh, so that was your complication. Oh my god. The civilians are That's dead. Uh, minions don't matter. They're dead. Hazard twice in a row. Striker. Wow. And then the rest are him. I don't even need to roll that. All right, so let's do a rundown for everybody at home. So first up is Nightlight, followed by Agent X, followed by Alley Cat, followed by Two Hazards, followed by Meat Man, and then the villain gets to go four times. Um, I'm going to spend two hero points to move Meat Man up in front of the Hazards. Yes, sir. Perfect. All right. So By the way, I have I have drawn the scene. I am obviously using my phone to be here tonight, <laughs> so I can't take a picture of it. But uh, that's that's how I envision I am nightlight. Nightlight. <laughs> All right. We're the good guys. <laughs> so he has an ability where uh, he gets to all of a sudden he can use it and just jump to the one of his initiative cards at the front of the track. So he's gonna do that. He's gonna react. He spins around with the nightlight, flying in there and lighting the room up on fire but he's still standing on top of meat man and uh he's gonna try and do the ground pound he did over on um agent x and try and put meat man out of commission you say he's standing on top of me do you, is he like literally standing on top of me he's standing on he... top of you and, you're ah, he's up at him. <laughs> and he's just okay well he, if you're not if he, if he I, well because he jumped on top of you and he was mauling you as a bear but yeah. um but we'll say he just, if you're standing up, he just sweeps your legs. His arms go big like beasts again. And he starts pounding on you. And he takes 72 damage as his arms go to big gorilla arms again. And takes you down and starts just beating on you. And looking over at the others as he's doing some blood's flying up on the walls. And all over the broken glass. 
You better calm down. Seems like you got an anger problem. <laughs> Blood just spitting up. You can see new stains coming up from the inside of my my canvas meat mask. Uh, Nightlight, it's your turn. All right. Uh, Nightlight will pull out his left hand and he'll face it forward. And he is going to like touch the head of this dude, this villain. Okay. And he's going to just start freezing it, his okay. head. And then kind of like try to crush his skull. Um, what what ability are you using? Uh, I'm using cold manipulation. Okay. And I'm gonna make it a long lasting effect. So whatever we want to say is the is the result of that. But ooh, I'm gonna knock it down with my hero point, my last two. So it's gonna be a uh, seventy six for damage. Seventy six, and it's long lasting. Okay, sounds good. All right. Uh, I'll give you some. He is like pounding on uh, Meat Man at the moment. I'll give you one advantage. And oh, he actually has challenge dice on his roll. I got to go back and do that. He's supposed to have two, isn't he, Jeff? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, you got a you got a boon. Uh, there, Nightlight. Oh, but you also got a bane. So they kind of cancel each other out. But I got to roll two challenge dice for my guy. You got one bane. So that's 62 damage instead. Um, you know what? I'm going to use his animal manifestation. I'm going to make that uh, 82 damage instead to, to you. It's a powerful attack for that last one. I keep forgetting to use my own powers. I'm too busy looking at other stuff. So 82. Uh, let's hop over to our leader. Agent X, you're awake, you're alive. You see that there are dead civilians all over the room and dead hellhounds. And there's <laughs> Meat Man and Nightlight are in the center of the room. There's glass shattered everywhere. There's blood everywhere. This thing's beating on Meat, on meat Man. Uh, Nightlight's just standing there touching its head and its head is being just covered in ice. What do you want to do? Come on, come on, old man. It's time for us to get to work. And he seems to almost flow like a ghost uh moving behind this guy yeah. and then his two spectral revolvers come up and point right at the back of his skull and he said i saw this in a movie once and then he just <sighs> fires the bullets oh my oh my uh i'll give you two advantage one challenge okay you'll have to roll those you got a a boon and a bane Bless boon and a bane 56 damage all right yeah so you just the back of his head or what <laughs> execution style the back of his head execution style all right his head just like and i'm looking over his shoulder i'm looking forward. over his shoulder at nightlight and i give him a little grin <laughs> as he's freezing the front in front of his head yeah i'm gonna say little bits psh, psh, break off wow okay alley cat over to you You're muted. Whoops, sorry about that. So all the civilians are dead, um, and uh, so are all the others, uh, except yeah. for this villain. And yes. uh, how, how beat up does this villain look? Um, he's pretty bloodied. Did 150 something damage to him. <laughs> he's oh pretty God. He's, all right. He's over pretty this is like your first challenge you faced. Yeah, I guess I have to enter the fray. So I'm going to go ahead and try to uh, just make like a straightforward uh, superhuman agility based attack on this guy. Like, okay. you know, charge at him, run around him a little bit, punch here and there, feigning, you know, dodging blows, awesome. and then like one up. Hopefully that one socks him. So uh, I roll my superhuman uh, agility, right? Yes, please. For some time? Yep. Ooh, All right, nice. that is not a great roll, but it's under the. Uh, that's good. Under the, uh, you're that's under a good roll. That's, that's really good. Roll. That's good damage. Uh, oh, oh, okay, good. <laughs> I will also give better. you. Everybody else who's be going in there and doing combat on this guy, I'll give you two two advantage. You're kind of dogpiling on this guy. I'll give you three advantage. All right, hell yeah. So, <laughs> so you, you can boost two that up million. to ninety damage if you wanted to. 
I'm going to go ahead and do that. I don't see any better use for those boons. Let's pop them down. A peg or two. Nobody's used any team maneuvers in this so far. Uh, yeah, I think we're pretty disheveled as a team. <laughs> <laughs> we need some team. We need some, need some points. Yeah, you've been using all your hero points, points up. Yeah. Man. All right. Yeah. I, so I, I didn't gain any uh, hero points from reviving uh, Asian Tex. I know. So I think my character believes that that's a result of choosing the wrong thing as opposed to uh, the civilians. Probably so, is. So stopping complications that'll, that'll get you your hero <laughs> points. Doing heroic things, not blowing up stop innocent it. people. The complications yeah. over. Me, man. It intentionally didn't do an AOE attack to save civilians. If that's not heroic, Matt, <laughs> I don't know what is. All right. Meat Man. Dude. Speaking of Meat Man, it's your turn. <laughs> okay. This thing's uh, still like got ape arms and is like on top of you. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, I'll uh, I think I'll just continue like to just pour into the arsenal that's in the butcher uh the butcher like yeah. my like kind of my my butcher duster or something like that and uh, uh i'll just make never had grill meat on the menu and i just start like stabbing him in the throat and everything i can possibly get on as i just continue to wail away with that yes please do uh that's a success that is uh, it and there's nothing more oh, i have unless I, there's advantage dice you get advantage dice for doing melee i forgot what you get them for melee uh, and because, like, all of you are basically ganged up on this guy, I'm going to uh, take that. Oh, oh, you! Oh, my God! This is our first... Our first one is this take, is the the take the spotlight. Take the spotlight! Me, man! Meat man. Right. What are you... Because he's sitting there. <laughs> okay. He's, like, just stabbing away, blood pouring down on him, blood coming up from below. He's blood everywhere. So, so people at home, when you get four yeah. boons, this is the max boons you can ever get in a roll. It's called taking the spotlight. You roll four boons on all of the single dice. You take the spotlight and gain the following effects. You get two advantage dice to all your attacks you make with powers. So you get two more advantage, I guess. Uh, or that's for the rest of the scene, isn't it? Yeah, till the yeah. end of the scene. Each boon you roll counts as two. And you can take two different actions each turn. So yes, Ooh, this wow. is your moment. This is your moment to shine, Meat Man. Does that count as this turn? Do I get that extra turn this turn? Yes. Yeah, I'll give it to you. Okay. You want to take it immediately? Have... Okay. Yeah, because I'm gonna okay. die. <laughs> I'm not yeah. Gonna have a if chance. you want to take it right away, yeah. This is your your time to shine. If You're anybody the has a tea, uh, and if anybody wants, anybody want to give me a hand here? As uh, <laughs> I'm begging for a teamwork maneuver so, so I can uh, get four advantage. Yeah. Tests. So. Uh, um... Agent X, seeing seeing you struggling with this guy, reverses his revolvers and butt strokes this guy in the back of the head to try to loosen loosen it up. And I'll spend a hero point to give you a teamwork maneuver. Awesome. I so have, teamwork. Yeah, gives... I have one more, but would it benefit for uh, another person to give a teamwork bonus? No, because he's going to have four one? now, and that's the max you can have. Because okay. he's getting two because he's taking the spotlight. And he's just got two from Agent X, so he can't he can't get any more um, damage dice. So let's see what happens here. Really, really. So, <laughs> with the sudden like disorientation, as as uh, as Agent X like kind of cracks him on the back, I'm just gonna this time I'm just gonna grab his head, and I'm gonna yeah. pull up one of like one of my really rusty, nasty old knives. It still has been sharpened to a decent uh, to a decent clip, and just rapidly pull his head so that I'm stabbing his head into the knife rather than the other way, just <laughs> <laughs> just like that. Okay. I've never know. seen anybody as get... violent as possible. You can imagine. Here. When we ran God, this previously, no one ever got the spotlight. That's crazy. Uh, uh, seventy-seven is a hit. That's three under. That's seventy-seven points of damage. You can make 87. plus twenty, which is ninety. I think it's. Uh, I get plus twenty for my attack, so that's ninety damage. Ninety-seven damage. Then I have four advantage die on my roll. So you got what? Uh, so another plus ten. <laughs> so one hundred and seven points of damage. Okay. Um, you just oh, 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 take his head, and he just goes limp after a certain point. And you continue ramming his head into the knife after he goes limp. And I'll just keep going for a couple more. <laughs> okay. <laughs> until somebody pulls me off. I mean, man, you go ahead and keep doing that until you get tired, because that <laughs> son of a bitch deserves every last Me stroke. man doesn't get tired. Me man gets angry. <sighs> I'm gonna I'm sit down and have a beer while I watch this show. <laughs> yeah, and while while all of this is happening, I think uh, um, Alley Cat is walking around uh, the bodies of the dead 
and she's trying to see like if first off if anybody she knew is dead if anybody is still alive um that can be saved and you know she's she's heartbroken but they're all they're all dead they're all dead none of them can be saved they're all they're dead. just citizens who, who died in the crossfires not not of the gang violence but very specifically because of this hero team yes because of nightlight well so so some of the, the hellhounds did take out some of the civilians but um majority was nightlight yeah agent x is on the phone with director stern he's like sir it was a it was an ambush out the steel mill it was some sort of a super powered uh villain uh looked like a hitman never 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 seen his life before we've got uh multiple civilian casualties on site he just goes oh shit. where are you what's your location i give him the location we'll be right there lock that scene down make sure you've got it under control uh it's under control uh meat man is currently uh decapitating the the <laughs> The enemy and uh, the civilians are dead. Alley Cat is checking them over, but I, I do not believe any of them survived the encounter. I'm uh, juggling lava. The press is going to have a field day with this. Just do what you can, okay? Yes, sir. Juggling lava. With that, uh, you hear a ringing, a phone ringing off in the corner of this office, you know, amongst all the carnage and the blood and the, the glass and the shattered wooden table. There's a phone in the corner of the room that's ringing. Well, Alicat, I believe that's either going to be for you or me. I, I I don't believe I want to put the child. I think uh, Riddle I, said I was the new PR person. I'm pretty sure. I'll take it. And I grab the phone. <laughs> yeah, you pick up the phone and you just kind of hear like, you don't know what you hear. It's 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 unsettling. It's like a gurgling sort of noise. You don't know what it is. And um, after a few moments, you see his voice and says, "This is far from over." And you just click on the other end. And a demonic sort of sounding voice, if you will. And I say, "Wasn't for me." I'll get you, Gadget. Yes. <laughs> well, all right. Uh, Director Stern's on his way with uh, support personnel. Uh, so, uh, we've never really failed complications before. This is interesting. Uh, there are repercussions for this. Uh, your, your public reputation is actually going to go down quite a bit uh, once this gets out in the media uh, as a team. Yeah. And public public opinion will uh, will definitely change in regards to how they view the covenant. Uh, you were heroes of paradise, and now people aren't so sure. But after uh, not too long, uh, Frank shows up. Frank Stein was <laughs> called him Frankensteiner. Francis Stern. That's it. We called him Frank Stern. Frank and Stern. Uh, so uh, Stern shows up with his polo shirt and his khakis. Uh, with a whole bunch of other government agents. They basically, the helicopters lay land on the buildings. Spotlights are shining in through the windows. Uh, on the on the four of you standing in this room, Meat Man's still ramming the head into the knife. <laughs> I think he stopped. All right, all right. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, can, I, can I make an agility roll here? I, I, want, I want to do a Batman exit. Oh. I want to see if I was already gone. Yeah, yeah. Use yeah. Use your use your reflexes to try and get out of here. Um, I'm gonna give you some challenge dice on this roll though. Uh, okay. But uh, 38 is success. Let's see what what happens with these challenge dice. We got a, a government agency. Ooh. You get away. They don't see you. But I will say, a scathing scathing report. And social media posts from a one Delilah Danes Ooh. hits the net, and it, she has pictures of you fleeing the scene. Wow! Yeah. Makes you look even worse than just staying there. <laughs> Fighting. <laughs> so, I but you do that. escape from the government agents. That's going to happen yeah. in the days after this, though. Your old, your your ex flame, Delilah Danes. It's taken to her social media and she's got she's got videos on YouTube and all kinds of stuff, posts about you 
fleeing the scene. Uh, so yeah, Stern shows up and he, the door, well, I guess there's no door left anymore. He walks in, surrounded by government agents. They're covered head to toe in, in gear. And he's like, what the shit went on here? Director, it was a kill box. This here individual that Meat Man has dispatched set us up and these civilians to die in this room. He used electronic nets, his own superpowers, grenades, and as you can see, a group of gun-toting psychopaths to kill us or try to kill us and every single person in here. The team did their best. We managed to stop him and stop them, but we were not able to save any civilian casualties, and I take full responsibility for that. <laughs> covered in blood meat man sitting on a desk and it's just sharpening one of his cleavers just covered still soaked not saying anything agent x you need to lock this team down where's the other one where do they go uh ali cat i believe had uh other matters to attend to she did not request my permission to depart as i pointed out director stern these individuals are not interested in directly supporting the government, and I do believe it's in our best interest to distance the agency from them to a certain extent. I hope that you are here to tell me that your uh, associate, Grendel, will be returning to his team shortly. Uh, if anyone can provide them the support they need, I believe it is him. I am too old for this shit. <laughs> telling me uh the government agents they're they're all kind of like pushing the rest of you aside and they're going right to this villain this costume villain and they're putting him into like this 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 container this tube it's almost like um like a glass coffin uh sort of thing and it's got all kinds of lights and buttons and wires hanging off of it and team rushes in and they throw him in there and they close this thing poof, it seals and you can hear them talk i think we can bring him back i think this this may not we, we may we should be able to revive him and they're kind of burst out of the scene and back up to the roof on the helicopter and they're bringing this villain out um as the rest of you are kind of having a little debrief and taking in what uh what just happened uh Direct, director stern i strongly advise not bringing that individual back his anthropomorphic abilities alone almost put us all to the test he is not going to be someone you can convert to uh the fenric squadron he says that's my decision. Thank you for the input, input, Agent X, but I didn't ask for it. I know you never do, but you're often wrong. That's just my call, <laughs> sir. I call I'm, it like I see it. I'm going to pretend like I didn't hear that, Agent X. That's fair. You're free to get back in the choppers yourself. Roger, sir. Uh, and so, like, they're, they're in there. They're filling up body bags and uh taking care of the scene meat man and uh nightlight what do you want <laughs> the two of you are left in there what do you want to do? do you just want to grab some bodies and leave or what what are you doing uh so are these court of dis there are six dead court of dis in here i'll take that'll be one of my souvenirs like i feel i feel like after they take the the guy's body up, up to the roof whatever and like you know, Agent X says whatever he says on the on, to his to his superior. I'm just gonna chuck something over at Agent X, and I'm just gonna say, "You're gonna have a hard time bringing them back without that." And it's just his head that you just caught in our hands, because <laughs> Matt did say I decapitated him. So yeah, it's yep. in the story now. Um, but yeah, like I wouldn't mind taking a Agent X. Agent X turns back and smiles, and he goes. I do believe you better keep this meat man and and put it somewhere where the sun don't shine. Right. And uh and then I'll look at the body on the ground. Yeah. I'll I think I think Meat Man will leave. I don't think he's gonna take any. If they're cleaning up the scene and putting they're cleaning bodies the scene, specifically bags, yeah. the supervillain. Like they're pushing you aside when they get to the supervillain oh, yeah. and they're they're packing him up. Yeah. Um Nightlight, you're going to gain the repercussion, the lasting repercussion of marked for death. You're gonna put that in your character sheet. And everybody yeah. else is going to gain the lasting repercussion of Vengeance of Therion after this episode. Vengeance of what? Me? Therion. T-H-E-R-I-O-N. Yeah, you're marked, I... for you're marked for death. Well, you know what? I mark him for death. No. 
I All did right. it back. So that's the last thing repercussion on kick sheet. So, like I said, days from now, Delilah Danes hits YouTube with a video. Uh, it's just scathing, blaming all of you for the crime. It was covered up. The media got on there. The police did their thing. They said it was gang war. But the pictures she took, the pictures specifically of Alley Cat fleeing the scene. She also had pictures through the through the um, windows of the, 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 of the, well, all four of you. And then the three of you standing in this room of blood uh, have hit the, have hit social media, have hit YouTube. And, um, yeah, the, the public is, um, they're kind of denouncing you. Uh, the, all the goodwill and everything you did in paradise the nights before people have forgotten, uh, when they see those pictures and they start, uh, hitting social media and eventually the, the press picks up on it and, um, the disposition of the police in New Eden have also changed towards our heroes going forward. And you have uh made a big enemy with the the coordinates if you ha didn't have one already they definitely know who you are so we're at the end of the episode here the end of the issue so this gives us a chance now we have some time to do our aspirations and turmoils uh as for lasting repercussions there's nothing mechanically with them it's just things that um that like the gm can pull on at later times so don't worry marks for death i know it sounds bad but there's nothing in game that'll that'll good luck man happen <laughs> so who wants to do an aspiration or a turmoil scene here after this after this this i don't know the last few nights of gang wars and then this all you you've basically you faced your first challenge uh and you're also seen uh, negatively in the eyes of the people that you vowed to save and protect and um and the authorities who you probably don't care about uh <laughs> in that regard so who wants to go first who wants to go ahead and do one so I think Agent X would probably, you know, he's he's a little disillusioned at this point, and he's still trying to search for um, those uh, those bad cops that uh, murdered his wife who worked for the Court of Dis. Mm. So I think he would go back to his, uh, you know, back to back to the offices of the DPA and start uh, going back, combing back through all of the connections between the police officers that tried to kill him in the alley, who they were connected to at the police department, and try to, you know, follow, follow the dots back up to whoever might be orchestrating this group of dirty cops within the police department. Okay, yeah. Okay. So what's our what's our what are we zeroing in on? What's the location? So he's 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 using he's using the computer system at the DPA. He's he hasn't done this in the past because it's kind of walking a really fine line, you know, getting hacking into bait or getting into the police uh, department's files mm -hmm. to start connecting these. But at this point, he's so irritated with all the bureaucracy and what's been happening that he's going to go in and analyze the data, start sifting through all the data on the, the uh, crime that where he was almost killed by the dirty cops and his yep. wife's murder and start putting the pieces together. Okay. Go ahead and make me a roll. What skill are you using? Uh, analyze data. Perfect. Ooh, 33. Yep. That's an 80 percenter very nice that is success um you started this previously this this quest so i'd like to get this information i'm going to give you a couple of advantage dice because you you had a trail to go on but i'm also going to give you some challenge dice as you kind of basically have to hack into this information get mm -hmm. past firewalls and stuff so balance each other out, but it's still a success uh you're able to kind of go through the chains and you're finding strings that are connecting to one to another and you've got the, the low level street cops you know the boys in blue the beat cops and it goes up to the detectives to the lieutenants to it seems that this goes all the way to the top it looks like police chief william sutton is the one who is ultimately directing these actions that you uncovered So Chief William Sutton is the dirty cop that's ultimately responsible for the death of my wife. And I'm going to say he was even present. Ooh, he's going to have to die. <laughs> Snap. So you get two points for this week, story progression points, one for fight, facing the villain and one for 
um, furthering your aspiration. Uh, okay, who's next? Well, if nobody else has one, I actually, uh, I think it's about time um, that Alley Cat dealt with her turmoil as opposed to her aspirations. Is it going to be Delilah? It is Delilah Dane. All right, Delilah. Is, so she, she's smearing her name, but Alley Cat's, not yours. But she knows how to get to you. She knows how to make it personal. And you're picking she, up, she up on that. Small. I think she's she's like one of the few people that uh that knows my secret identity. I had to, I had to out myself. That's you know? true. Like we, we we got to a point in the relationship where it was just like, you know, there was there was this breaking point. It's either me or heroism, more or less. Uh, and uh, so I think uh, Alley Cat, or rather Tabitha, shows up unannounced. No, I think Alley Cat shows up unannounced on Delilah Dane's balcony. Yes. All right. Yeah. We'll say she lives in an apartment. She's got a uh, like a fire escape balcony outside yeah. her window. Probably, so she, probably like a little high up. You know. Yeah. Like yeah. She, she's made a name for herself. I'm gonna say she's sitting at her computer. She's got her her circle light on. She's sitting there recording. She's got it in front of her camera and she's recording a piece for a her, circle light? her next. What are, what are those? What are those called? Those makeup lights. What are they called? The circle. The ring lights. The no, ring no, lights. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go, ring light. She's she's there and she's she's recording her next video for YouTube, and you're outside her window. Um, I wait for her to finish up her uh, her broadcast. I don't want to interrupt. Sure. That. Yeah, she ends a broadcast. What what is it? Please like and subscribe. What is it? <laughs> whatever she says. Like and subscribe. And uh, switches off the camera, and you see her kind of sit back, and she puts her heads, her head in her hands. She pulls her hair back, and she's kind of just like relaxes after you know being on and, and yeah. doing a, a live feed and she's hunched back she kind of spins in her chair and she's startled when she sees you standing over in the window outside a knock on the uh the window give a little wave is this you, a bad time you see her face just like erupts with like anger just, what the hell are you doing here how how dare you come here after what you did the other night i saw you there i was the one that took the pictures i know you were the one that took the pictures we always had a way of capturing the reality of the situation you're in deep this time tabitha you're not going to get out what the hell are you doing that was a massacre yeah yeah, no, I don't have any excuse for what happened. It was, it's, it's a result of the court of just taking notice of, you know, what we've been working on, trying to change things for the better. They don't want it to change. And we didn't do a great job of making sure that we, we did the worst job possible, making sure that nobody got hurt it and she's actually going to start crying in front of danica dane or uh, uh delilah dane so she's going to say it really really didn't work really didn't work this time maybe this time is the time where you hang up the ears and call it quits whatever's happening with this group it's not working it's not working right now we were doing good and then and then this happened they took notice of us and they tried to stop us and maybe they were right to stop us maybe this isn't a fight that we can win there was a hired assassin that was sent there to kill you you're lucky you're alive. No, I'm not lucky. I got, and my character would know the exact number of civilians that died. I yeah. got X number of people killed. That's not luck. That's others sacrificing themselves for a cause they didn't even know they... Delilah, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I've been going down a dark path. 
your right to your right to doubt that it was the correct path to take. What skill do you want to use here? Do you want to like read the situation? Size yeah, around? this what is do you definitely want to do a read the situation. Okay. I'm trying, I'm yeah. trying to see where, where she's at yeah. and I'm trying to see where we stand. Gotcha. And you know, I'm trying to see what her what her actual beliefs are that motivated her to make these scathing reports. But I'm not doing it out of like self-interest. I'm right. trying to figure out what her motivations are. So this is definitely 100% a uh, read the situation. Okay, make me that roll. Oh, 69. Oh. <laughs> Read the nice. situation. You need an 80% or lower to succeed. At nice. first, she gets her, her fists, her hands ball up into fists. And you see her get mad. Like, she just tenses up. And then she sees you break down. And she lets her guard down. And she comes over to you. And she puts an arm around you. And she says, stop this. End this now. You're better than this. I don't want to see anything happen to you. Things are just going to escalate and get worse. Promise me you'll take some time off. All right. I think that's for the best. And um, what a uh, what um what did you see that I didn't see in those photos? I was there, I was caught up in the motion, but you were looking in. What did you see? I saw your teammates kill those people. Well, we should probably have a longer conversation about this. If you want me to leave now, I understand, but um, I did bring a glass of wine. She's gonna say, no, I think it's best you stay. And then we'll zoom out. Of that scene <laughs> you get two story report for reward points for finding the villain Woo! and furthering your aspiration all right uh agent x or nightlight who wants to go next it's jeff you want to go or oh i'm sorry uh, yeah, yeah, Meat yeah, Man or nightlight. uh yeah so i was thinking about nightlights and his goal was kind of like the court of dis has kind of been like trying to mess with him in like okay. the truffle lord area but i think what he would like to do is not necessarily reflecting it in a negative way what has happened, but a confused way that every time the Court of Dis has like appeared, his like demonic presence has appeared. <laughs> so I think he is going to, I'm going to use throw money at the problem and I'm going to try and like basically spend money to get like a higher up meeting to try and figure out, because like he heard the demonic voice on the phone. Yeah. So he thinks like something is tied to the, him meeting their kind of people in the way his reaction is. Okay. Okay. Um, so what what skill do you want to use? What do we? What I'm trying to bribe him, so I'm trying to. Throw oh, money you want to bribe him? So you're. Ooh, you want to call a meeting with this guy? Okay, we're gonna say that. Um, so the the public face of the Court of Dis um, Casino is a man by the name of Vincent Crease, and he is kind of like known as like the top guy. And through your connections and bribery, uh, you're able to arrange a meeting with him in his office in the casino so you're up on the top floor he's got this big massive window behind him you can see the whole downtown strip of new eden he's at a big massive desk and he's sitting there he's got goons on either side of him he looks annoyed especially because there's a kid sitting across from him and uh yeah we'll just zoom in on that scene where your, your meeting is taking place yeah, so I just wanted to, like, get this off my chest, you know? I just, every time your guys show up, I, everything turns red and they all die. So I just thought maybe we could have a heart-to-heart -heart and kind of figure this out because I feel like there's something deep inside me that I don't really know about. He, he looks at, like, one of the goons and he goes, my guys show up? And he turns around and he's like, what are you, what are you talking about, kid? I thought this was like, about your truffle business. No, I, I, that, that, I've already taken care of those guys, so don't worry about that. But it was just more the fact that I just feel like, I don't know, you guys, like, trigger something inside of me. And I just thought maybe you'd know something. You had that, like, demonic voice and maybe, I don't know. <laughs> he, uh, he, he's, he's big shoulders hunched over and he just kind of leans into you. He's like, what do you want? You've got one minute. 
I'm just trying to find out more about myself, you know? I mean, I have all the money in the world. I can just kill all of you guys if I ever want to, and I just... Listen. Yeah? Off the record, you're telling me you're one of those heroes out there that are killing my men, and you're coming here to make a deal with me? Yeah, like, maybe we just, like, stop running into each other. <laughs> you... It's a win-win! I stop killing you, and... You what's, stop losing people. What's in it for me? You stop losing all your cronies. What do you mean? I have endless resources. Yeah, and I have endless power. Okay, look, we're in the same boat here. <laughs> I'm just trying to get information about what's really causing it. You know, I'm a little confused. I'm only 12. Yeah, I see that. Listen, your minute's also up. Make me an offer, kid. You mean like money? You're the one in my office. You tell me. Look, I'll give you uh, a certain amount of money every month from the truffle business, and you lay low from paradise. I make all the money I need here in the casino. Uh, what else would you like? For you to die. Whoa, that's a little <laughs> extreme. I'm standing right in front of you. <laughs> right. you, tr <laughs> you tried that. You sent the little animal assassin after us. Yeah. Look, how about this? I'll tell you. I'll tell you where they took him. I know where they took him. Oh, wait! You know way more than I do. This is crazy. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> so, I'll tell you what. I want you to disappear. That's what I want. I want you to leave New Eden. And what do I get? I don't understand. That's like I won't a... kill you. You can't kill me right here. No, I won't kill you right here. But I have the means to kill you. Oh, so it's a challenge, huh? Yes. All right. So how about this? You keep sending people after me, and I'm gonna start bringing them to your doorstep, and we'll see who comes down first. Challenge accepted, kid. And he laughs. He will uh, then just like kind of stand up, and then he'll just like use his hand to the window and melt it, and just fly out. Sure. So you want to use a skill here in the scene? <laughs> Go, go ahead and roll for your, your your skill that you want to use. I guess I'll use convince someone because I okay. didn't really get to the throw use money that, a use problem. that. You're gonna have challenge dice on this. I'm telling you now. You're like in the lion's den. Oh my! No, oh my he, god! He goes. I get still the, succeed, but you do. You do. He goes. Get the fuck out of my office. Uh, <laughs> and he points to the door, and I'm gonna say that's when you walk past him. And you just like melt the glass. It kind of like starts dripping, and I don't know turns to snow, sand turns to glass. It just kind of melts, and you just fly out the window. Uh, so you succeed. Two, two story points for you. Uh, and last but not least, meet Ben. Okay. So I got a scene in mind. Okay. So this is after everything that went down. Deep cuts, I, of course he changes the look of it, so when he's out doing like crime fighting, it doesn't look like the one that he has, but you know, when he, when he goes out and does his job, but, but still he knows enough to keep, you know, to lay low a little bit. So I like to think that like, let's, let's say we open the scene. We hear a guy whistling. We hear like bubbling water. We hear like, like there's, there's ovens on and stuff and we're in a kitchen somewhere. And like, there you see costumeless meat, man. He's got like a chef's coat on like a nice bright white chef's coat. He's got some, some like fluffy little chef's hat, got a little hairnet underneath. You can see all his scars and his beard. He just looks awful. Right. You can see like, like he's, you know, he's got it. He's got, he looks like a normal chef, but he's all cut up to bits and he's just whistling and whistling and he's making some food and he's making some food. It goes into like the walk-in. You can see that there's like three people in, in chef's outfits that are all tied up, gagged, sitting in the corner. And I just grab a couple of tomatoes and stuff off the, off the walk-in, close the door and I'm making stuff. I want to say that this is at like a, like a restaurant for like low level court of dis people. Oh, and I want to... I want to cook some like I want to cook some like poisonous food to go feed to like the crew oh. that's out in the out in the lounge because right. I took the high road and didn't take any corpses from the scene oh, and right. I got to reload. <laughs> you got some so, arsenic that you're just like yeah, <laughs> and I'm not gonna it. hurt the kitchen staff. That's why they're just they're just they're just you know they're just bound and in, in the walk-in. So 
yeah so i'm just whistling around just you know making up some like some you can see i'm making up some meat sauce you know just doing a little like this is some italian stuff getting it going it'll be great so let me ask you're using your cooking roll i'm using my cooking group <laughs> now to be fair the last time i used it i failed <laughs> but i do have two re-rolls for today because people gave me re-rolls so <laughs> I'm going to give you a cooking. couple of advantage on this because you're in your element. You're in a kitchen. You're not in yeah. a truck. There's no stress, really. It's clean. Yeah, yeah I'm going to give doing. you some advantage dice on got this. Got a little also. music going, you know, got a little Sinatra in the background. Like, it's, <laughs> you know, it's great. It's great. It's like a regular, like, it's a gangsta <laughs> Applebee's, whatever it is. Yeah. <laughs> And so, yeah, just poisoning them as best I can. <laughs> okay, 54 is a success. You got one, success. one boon. Okay. So I'm just going to, like, I'm just going to bring it out there. And I'm like, there you go, boys. There you go. And I'm just going to lay the lay this nice, like, like pasta bolognese, you know, like some really nice looking, you know, some nice looking choice cuts and stuff, pouring some wine for them and everything, probably ignoring me, don't even notice that I'm just carved up, you know, I'm like got this weird limp where who knows what happened to my leg back in the day. And then I just go back and like, I'm eating an apple, watching the people. You're watching from the, from the kitchen? Just waiting like three. Yeah. So they dive in, they say spaghetti, they're twirling around their forks and spoons. They're shoveling their face. And all of a sudden one of them just like grabs his throat. Eyes go wide, face down in the plate. And they're like, what the shit? What just happened? What happened to Donnie? And another one starts convulsing and foam comes out of his mouth and falls over and knocks the table over and there's three of them total the next one falls over as well and you've got three dead hellhounds in this restaurant they've cleared the place out for just oh, yeah 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 like yeah. they've it's got a, yeah. like this is it's their own little front. private yeah. private place to eat uh, so the last thing you see is like it's like meat man just dragging the bodies out into the alley behind the kitchen loading them up onto the onto the truck and then i'm gonna open up the uh, i'm gonna open up the walk-in and i'm just gonna like chuck like a small little switchblade towards them like thanks for the kitchen boys and then i'm gonna close the door and leave. <laughs> all right you also get two story rewards for <laughs> this is the first session where everybody succeeded at their aspiration right. or turmoil well, yeah i got one work. more little scene i'd like to play out because yes. I, I i don't know if when agent x will come back but i've picked his story reward uh since he got one and it's go public with your identity oh because that'll Ooh. give us a plus one to our public relations, which I think is in rough shape You're, at the moment. It's dire right now for the team. So yeah. uh, he calls a he calls a uh, a press conference, and you see uh, Agent X in his spectral form, with wearing the you know the spectral essence of his ancestor. And in the back of his mind, he can hear Wild Bill Hickok chuckling encouraging him to do this because also as part of this he has to change his turmoil so he's coming to peace with wild bill he walks up to the podium and he's standing there and he gentlemen ladies of the press i know i know you're mighty disappointed in what the covenant has has done recently but i think it's time that that i shed some light on what has really happened here and as he says that the spectral image fades away and you just see agent Hickok there. He goes, my name is special agent Dirk Hickok. And this may very well get me fired, but I was the government liaison agent for the covenant. And I want to tell you that they've worked tirelessly for the last five nights as the court of dis, the so-called open secret criminal organization in your city has attempted to destroy the the town the the area of paradise you've all seen the covenant work tirelessly and on the one night where we went into battle we were set up it was an ambush an ambush by a skilled assassin who had laid traps for us and grenades and a entire cadre of goons whose only mission there was to make sure that they killed every civilian in sight along with us to send a message to you people in paradise that you are not protected by the heroes of the covenant. And I'm here to tell you now, although I may not be with the covenant any longer after this announcement, every member of that team cried over those bodies. When those civilians fell, we fell with them. And it broke our hearts to know 
that the court of dis could turn you fine people against the one group of heroes who are trying to bring light into your darkness. So search into your hearts and find a little bit of pity for those heroes who are willing to risk their lives for you every night, not for pay, like I'm getting paid, but just to see you have a better day. Thank you very much for your time. I'm not taking any questions. And he walks <laughs> off the stage. I was like, oh, question, question. <laughs> Pictures being taken. Reporters are shouting. I feel like me and Meat Man are watching it on like a really like beat up TV in his uh in his food truck. Yeah. And I'm and I look over. I'm like, did you cry? I didn't cry. I didn't cry. Did you did you cry? I didn't cry. No. <laughs> no, I don't, no. I'm watching from Dean's Dean's apartment, and I'm just like, wow. It could have been a lot worse. Hickox <laughs> walking away, singing to himself. I know, I know for a fact that Meat Man and Night Like Clot cried on the inside. God damn it! And that's how I'm remembering it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's a good that's a good end. So that's the end of issue five, four. Damn. What was that issue? Look at my my pad here of adventures. Issue four, blood in the streets. Yeah. So we had our first real challenge. For the team here, things are looking mighty grim uh, for everybody in the team uh, when it comes to public opinion. So we'll see what happens next. So I'll give you a little uh, a little teaser next next week's episode or issue is titled enter terror that doesn't sound foreboding at all <laughs> that's exciting enter terror just nightlight walking down the street yeah <laughs> i was gonna say that's Nightlight terrifying is, <laughs> nightlight's marked for death and he's gone and told the uh, the head of the court of dis that uh that he oh, is oh yeah nightlight. it's a challenge to see who's gonna kill who he, first <laughs> you're just like yeah oh my god yeah. <laughs> He gives this is full on age comics here <laughs> right right all right so thank you everybody for joining us tonight this was a lot of fun doing this issue this was very different from the issues we've done previously uh this one's good it's got a little heavy this one which is nice yeah. uh we got and we got into a heavy in the aspirations of turmoils i think next week we're gonna what see the return of grendel and i think pat's gonna introduce a new character yeah. uh next yes. issue so that'll be interesting Let's do the roundtables. Jeff, what do you got going on this week? Yeah, on Friday at twitch.tv slash the lollygaggers, we are continuing our Delta Green and Possible Landscapes campaign. Uh, we are about midway through part two of a four-part campaign using Delta Green and various King and Yellow stuff. Uh, on Saturday, we're uh, playing Worlds Without Number on the same channel. And on Monday, we are starting up chapter three of our Alien campaign uh, we're going to be using some Marines this time around, taking, uh, taking the uh, Colonial Marines book out for a spin. Uh, and Matt will be in that. I'll be in that. And tomorrow, you and I are over on Defenders of Cobalt playing Pathfinder 2. Yes, we're playing through Little Trouble and Big Absalom, I believe is the name. Yeah. Cobalt? Uh, yep. Yeah, we're playing as Cobalts. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's fine. And we that's almost fun, party but... wiped last session. So tonight, tomorrow night's the last session in a two-parter. So expect us to all die tomorrow night. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Nine o'clock. Central Standard Time on Defenders of Cobalt. It might even be by my hand. I had a tendency to do. <laughs> yeah, I know you. You hit me with an attempt. With AOE small. abilities. I, I know you hit Stand me. There. You nightlighted me. <laughs> I did nightlight <laughs> you session. a little bit. <laughs> Just a little bit. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. I survived. I ran away. So I su yes, you did. <laughs> <I> survived. <laughs> uh, Pat, what do you have going on this week over on Diesel Shot? All right, so as I mentioned earlier, Thursday, we have Uranium Fever, our long on uh, ongoing campaign of Fallout RPG. Not, not the official one yet. We might switch over at some point, who knows? But uh, we, it's been very fun. We've, we've put a lot of heart and soul into it, and uh, that's on Thursday. And uh, Friday, I might be doing something. I'll, I'll make sure everybody gets the memo. And uh, Saturday, Lee and I are celebrating the second year anniversary of Diesel Shot, as well as my, uh, you know, Twitter success and a number of other random things we want to uh, want to celebrate. So we're just having a one on one mothership game. Should be really fun. Monday on on uh, Uranium Fever, or bleh, Monday on Diesel Shot, we have High Roads, which is our long on term uh, ongoing. D, D campaign and uh yeah you can see me again on uh tuesday here at uh garbon games playing spectaculars with a new character 
And uh, before that happens, sorry, let me rewind. Uh, Friday in the uh, the morning, I'm going to be uh, doing late afternoon, but whatever. I'm going to be on Garblog Games again uh, in the World of Darkness campaign that just started. Very excited about that. Which, All right, looked that's like me. A, which looked like a hell of a good time last week. I haven't been able to watch it yet, but I've seen the screenshots oh and God. I've seen all the chatter and it looks like it was a really good time. It's been amazing. Like I'm, I'm actually really vibing with this crew. Like this, this is some like cool shit. I'm, I'm having fun. Friday is, is the fucking fun times day. <laughs> awesome. Aaron, all what do you right. got going on the rest of this week? Uh, Thursday, we'll be doing our crew and character creation for Blades in the Dark at uh, 9 p.m. Central Standard Time and then jumping into a heist, hopefully. And followed then by, you'll see over on uh, Free League on Sunday, you'll see an even more sociopathic group of people than Meat Man and Nightlight uh, and some aliens uh, trying to... Uh, survive a, a very long combat and then probably get court-martialed and executed for crimes against humanity uh, and then tuesday you'll see grendel again here <laughs> grendel will return uh and he's much more positive than uh, than our marines <laughs> that's true evan you're in blades in the dark and alien yeah right? there's nothing, nothing else, nothing else. Yep. All right, so yeah, and i'm in everything has been mentioned here so tomorrow night over in defenders kobold uh for some pathfinder 2 um, Thursday night here on Garblag for Blades in the Dark, and Sunday night over on the Free League Publishing Channel where we continue the Alien campaign, the Frontier uh, War campaign. So thank you again, everybody who joined us for this. This game is so much fun. This was a really interesting session. We got to see a spotlight uh, happen. We got a real threat to face off. We had some cool uh, aspirations and turmoils. I love it. This game is uh, this game's a lot of fun, and I love how it just keeps building on itself and just makes its own living, breathing world and lore. So we'll continue it next week, Tuesday. Have a great week, everybody.